His ranger and rage. Josh yeah. fucked up. Josh yeah, fucked yeah. up hard. He said he was gonna be. Josh, he he said he was gonna be here. He said he was gonna be Josh. here last night. He fucked up twice. Oh. No, I I get to rant about this for a minute. He fucked up twice in a week. Normally it's like I fuck up and then he fucks up or you fuck up then I fuck up or he fucks up and I fuck up or somebody else fucks up and then one of us fucks up. That's usually what happens. No, this week it was twice. It was him two times in a row. I don't know how like Josh. Uh, yeah, Josh. What the fuck, dude? You fucked Josh me. Josh made I mean it's it's that time of year where like everything is like going terrible for recording the show. Uh. So it's like it becomes twenty doubly difficult because we're sitting there and we're like, oh we need to record the show and then we like don't plan to record the show because everyone is like, Oh, let's record the show. Uh, this is episode 201, by the way, and I gotta say a word, because I was requested to say a word. So I'm gonna say it. Vegan. Vagina. Oh, right, right. Vagina. Right. Vagina. Now, when I'm saying... Vagina. I actually am saying... Penis. But, uh, I am saying... Vagina. Because I was told I have to say... Vagina. I think that's what I was told. I mean, I could be saying something far worse. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a word, lot of other worse words. I gave that word away for a permanent pass. It was a very good deal on my part, uh, given to me by an old uh, witch doctor, actually, who uh, also gave me a bunch of ibogaine. And uh, yeah, I I gotta say, I got a lot of use out of that pass. I was twelve when I made that deal, and it was very good when I was twelve. Alan, how are you doing this week? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've been uh, nonstop since Tuesday doing work. I have to work tomorrow at uh, on a Sunday. Um, mind you, I'll be making 60 bucks an hour. Mind you, I also don't, won't have another day off until Sunday. Uh, so I might be a little bit crazy next episode. Just a heads up for the, <laughs> like... The politics are going to be flowing through his veins. Not that. It's just more like I might just be, like, really tired. Yeah. Uh, I had a really good week this week. Uh, I was supposed to work four days, and then my bar my boss was like, "Yeah, I think I'm having heart problems." So I got called into work for heart problems. It was good. Um, Not for heart problems, because of heart problems. That's the word you're looking because for. Because of his heart problems. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I played board games. I had a really weird experience driving somebody home. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that really weird experience. They sat there and they complained about my resting bitch face. <laughs> they were like, we we're getting in the vehicle, and this person goes, goes, you're not smiling. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, it's my stew face. <laughs> and then, like, the car decided it was a good time to turn off the radio. Because I turned off the car, because I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste gas. I want to be responsible and economical, even though, like, I drive a V8. So, like, anything that saves me, like, 20 cents is going to be better than nothing. Maybe not putting in carbon dioxide or methane into the fucking atmosphere. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. And so I did that. And then the radio turned off. And then we were like, oh, I guess that's the end of our conversation. So that was a good week. It was a good week. Yep, I can believe that. Yeah. Uh, I played Rage. I didn't play God of War. I saw Don Wick. <laughs> I saw uh, Detective Pikachu on Sunday. How did you like it? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I I really did actually. Like, I would I, lo I would love to see a sequel. Um, I highly doubt I ever will, but I would love to because, like, 
That movie was Pokemon through and through. Yeah. It was the perfect movie that is Pokemon. Yep. And I think that the one thing I don't like about it is is that the twist I could start seeing coming a mile away. But once I turned off... Oh, no. Uh, like, I was like, yeah, Detective Pikachu is dead because that's the entire point in the game as well. Because remember, this is based off the video game. Yeah. Um, I, I, although I am totally happy that uh, Ryle Reynolds ended up being his dad. And he was wearing glasses and everything. And I was like, fuck, dude's a nerd and it's great. Oh, man, I have never been so happy about like how uh, how like they did a like how they did a character. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. It was it was something where uh it was something where like when Ryan Reynolds was the dad, it was really interesting. I also found like how they did Mewtwo very good and how they did all the Pokemon was really interesting. Like this is the perfect Pokemon movie. It's actually like a like one of the best Pokemon movies. I would actually yeah. lean more towards it being like one of the top tier ones. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say that it might be the best one. Although um, I do know that there, the, there are like some of the, like the more recent movies that have come out for the anime and stuff like that, that have been mm -hmm. like fucking like golden apparently. Oh yeah. Like they're, they're cultural phenomenons in Japan, but they don't really like, they don't really stick to landing here in North America. Oh, some, oh, some oh. son of a bitch decided to join us tonight. Um, you have the best ringtone, by the way. Let's resync and then we'll start once Josh has his audio it's on. on. You missed it. Sync okay. In three, two, one. Sync. Me and Alan are resynced. By the way, Josh. Or. I can't believe you said. Vagina. It's so <laughs> disgusting of you to Hold say on. penis. Vagina. But like I was saying, I, I, penis. <laughs> Pana, uh, my dick is big. My dick is really big. <laughs> Ten fifteen club. That song, that song, got fucking relinked in one of my other chats the other day. By the way, Josh, I'm pissed off at you. I gotta, I gotta rant yeah, to you in a moment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um. Everyone's mad oh, at I know. you. Trust um, me. Slightly annoyed. But I, but the thing is, like that song got relinked in one of my chats the other day, and I fucking just clicked it open, and I was like, oh my god, this band. And then I realized, like, oh wait, I'm listening to this song, and I had to immediately mute it when it when it starts like when he started singing the lyrics, because like I had it full blast in the basement, and my parents were upstairs awake, and I was like, ah, oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was almost like me just getting like blaring my dick. He's big. He's really, really big. Yeah. Fuck. And then Alan's dad came downstairs and punched him in the crotch. Basically. No. Um. How are you doing, Josh? Pretty. I don't care. Yeah, you're you're fucking late. Yep. No, no, no. You're you're not fucking late. You 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 promised. So just so the context, we try to record these things on a Friday night, just so we, we have like, to, so everybody yes. can be like. Hold on, hold on, so, Alan. Before you rage, let me let's begin this, okay? Uh, so, like lately, we've been struggling in order to get the show recorded because we're fucking idiots. <laughs> well, it's not that we're recording. It's not that we're idiots. It's that we're we have like other obligations. Like I have my I've gone back to my summer job, so like some Friday nights I won't be able to be on here soon. Other nights I might be on. It'll be like different. So like they'll you might hear more other cast members reappear from time to time. Um. I, Jeff and Josh are also starting to wind, uh, get a little bit more world up in their stuff. Josh, which happened last night, um, Played got, magic until got, like eleven o'clock at yeah, night. Uh, we we were we were sitting there. I was like, yeah, we're gonna be going at ten, ten fifteen because I, I'm actually home. And then we get this text at what? Like, what was it? Is it at like eleven o'clock that we got that text? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, God, I did not think at 1125, at 1125 a, a full, I said, we'll give him till 1045 and then we'll like make a decision. We'll see if we can get somebody else on. Um, I jumped off. I would move to my different computer because my laptop was having technical issues. Jump back on. Jeff is like, I can't get anybody. It's like, okay, I guess we'll record tomorrow. I'm going to go to bed. Um, 
and oh, god damn it and like when josh is like yeah i didn't think like at 11 at 11 30 jeff was like we can record right now i was like nope i'm going to bed because <laughs> i have to work tomorrow and then i went to bed uh, and then tonight jo jo josh josh actually did try to make it a, make an attempt this time where he was like yeah i have a family thing but i'll try be home for 10 so we can record i was like okay however i didn't know how my how late i was gonna be working so i made the stipulation of i might not be on because of how work goes so I've already covered my bases now twice now, by the way. Like, even on Friday, I was like, I might not be home because it looks like it's a long day. I get on at – I get off the treadmill because I do my, like, daily run at 10.05. 10 I looked at the phone, saw nobody was on. I said, okay. We started having a quick conversation. And then Josh – Josh is the first one to respond to it. I might be late uh, socializing a lot. This is at 8 o'clock. 10 o'clock yeah. rolls around. Uh, and J Josh is like, shit, I lost track of time at the family reunion. My, and he was like, I'm insured. I was like, D hurry home, Josh. And he's like, I'm insured parking. Like, drive, bitch, drive. It's like, you, plus you used to have a bit of time. It's like, I'm getting my dad side, right here. Side effect of this, though, is like, it was great because <laughs> because Josh was late, I wasn't late. So yeah. it's, I'm th Josh, I'm very thankful that you were late instead I of mean, me. Because then Alan would have been racking you know, at me. Yeah. I know you're well, always no, late. Well, no. So I decided to take the heat no, this no. time. The, the, the thing is, though, normally what happens is it, I've actually noticed this with us with us a lot, actually, is that one week one of us will be wait, uh, like if we're trying to record on a Friday and like one of us can't make it, it kind of just like props up at the last second or I'm late. And the and the next time we record it's Josh or next time it's you or one of the other podcast hosts who we have, like either Shane or um, Rory. Oh, fuck, I can't remember his name. Rory or I can't remember the other guy's name right now. Ben. Yeah, Ben. ben. Thank you. And the thing is, is like it's 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 little things that we we have like we're we're kept, we're struggling to get like us back into a proper schedule because of how like this uh, the year is going right now. Like we're all going back to like difficult work and doing hobbies and stuff like that. So we're having a little slip ups. But uh, uh, Josh Josh is the first one to do a double stack, and uh, Josh can go promptly fuck himself <laughs> because I had I was so ready to record last night. Like I was like I have everything I set did. up. I have. I have a I have a nice glass like cold glass of water. Gosh, we still love you though. Well, look, oh yeah, no, we still I'll, love you, but go fuck yourself. I'll go set up that laptop with a blanket on the floor with the dildo, and I'll just go down, go to town on it if it makes you feel better. Oh my god, <laughs> if you do, I was, oh my god, if you do, you have to, you have to post it to Pornhub, dude, because I suspect there are a lot of people who would watch that. <laughs> oh, not this fat lard. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised. Oh, oh dear. You'd, you'd, you'd be very surprised. Oh, dear. But we were talking about Detective Pikachu before you jumped on. Have you seen it, Josh? Say what? Detective Pikachu. No. Are you going to see it? I... I want months. I want to it no well, no considering that dragons came out in the span of a three month period it might actually only be out in three months mind you it might also be like a bit of a cultural phenomenon so hey who knows um uh you know what if it's gonna be here for the next weekend I'll try it should be because it only came out two weeks ago so yeah yeah you sh you'll be able to see it next week yeah I think. Like it's, it's it movie, is one of the things like I actively was trying to gun for to see it, but then you know <laughs> family reunion and shit. Well, yeah, like no, that that like it's not like I would say strongly suggest people go see it. It's the I would agree with like what we mean Jeff were saying before is that it it is one of the best, if not the best, Pokemon movie that has ever come out. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, you'll see the plot twist coming a mile away. You'll see. Like, kill, like all the visual effects, all the designs, the Pokemon, everything is just phenomenal how they did it. Because unlike what I think with, oh god, I'm trying to think of what, what it is too, with like a good example, Sonic, which is by the way has been pushed back its release by like four months. So good on Team Sega for uh, delaying the release so that the animators aren't just suffering eternally. <laughs> but um the major part the major thing is that the movie is really good like top tier good i like you need to see it if not this week if not uh next weekend 
like I like as soon as possible, in my opinion, because I really want to talk with you about it because I know you play Pokemon like I do. Mm, I. Yeah, like, I've heard a bunch of stuff about it, and I've also heard about, like, uh, what was it, that the, one of the characters is not great, but other than that, it's, I would probably have a good time with that movie. And it's like, yeah, I probably would. And, and, you know, going into it, I'm just expecting, uh, not, maybe not the greatest storytelling, but at least, like, hey, Pokemon's everywhere. And I'm like, yeah. I would, it's actually how how they do it in the in the movie is actually pretty cool. They incorporate the Pokemon into the world really well. Um, there's also a, like there's a scene in the movie, and I, I Je- Jeff will know exactly what I'm talking about. Where like they're talking about a Torterra garden, and the scene yes. references where there's a, like a Torterra that comes out of the ground, shakes a bit, and it's like a turtle just coming out of the mud. And it's like, oh, that's cool. And then then it's done. The scene is so good after which because like it's a little seed for like a little bit later on because it's such a cool reference because uh, like and then there's like um seeing um like fuck what other Pokemon like you see like Pangoro Snorlax like the Bulbasaur scenes are like the Bulbasaur the scene I I went to see this with my friends Chris Kim and uh, Richard who are close friends of mine. And uh, I'm sitting next to Kim. Bulbasaur is her favorite Gen 1 starter. Mine is Squirtle, but I don't get to see any cool Squirtles in the movie. Except for like cool Squirtle in the movie. There's a firefighter scene, but you don't hear them. You don't hear them make any sounds. It's just like they're like quick snapshots. You just see them happen. Well, mine's Blaziken, and there was no Blaziken in the movie. Mine, but if my, 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 choice, my, my, fa- my, no, my, my favorite. No, well, that's what I mean. Is like uh, of the of the first Gen One starters. My favorite starter of all time is Ty is Typhlosion. So fuck off. Um, I didn't get to see that. Go fuck yourself. Um, but the thing is, is with Gen, like Gen One, we were like, oh well, they're gonna do Charmander, and we do see a Charmander. It's actually really cute and really fun. We see a Squirtle, but we don't hear Squirtle. We don't see hear Squirtle say anything, but we see it waddle along, and it's really cute and cool, uh, beautiful. And then we see the Bulbasaur scene, and I'm sitting next to Kim, who Bulbasaur is her favorite starter, or well, one of her favorite starters. Chris is also uh, Christina's favorite starter is also Bulbasaur, and they're like, "Oh my God, it's my boy! It's it's my boy!" And then it makes a chirp and a whistle, and I had to like cover my ears for a second from the squealing next to me, because they were like, "That is a." Oh my god, it's adorable! Oh, and I'm like, it is adorable, but oh my word, I can't, I can't watch the movie right now because you're just squealing. Oh, that movie was good. I actually strongly recommend it. Oh, what else? That's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, do it, Josh. Do it, Josh. Go, go see that movie. Okay. Go see it tomorrow if you can. I probably can see it tomorrow. I'm trying to think of what else I'm actively doing tomorrow other than doing Do you have work? <laughs> other than mowing a lawn and maybe doing 3D modeling. Go fuck yourself. Skip skip mowing the lawn, go see a movie. <laughs> um actually no, don't do that. That that's how we get mosquitoes. Ex- exactly. Um, yeah. Um no, go see this movie tomorrow if you can cuz like I I need to hear your reaction about this movie because oh boy. Um but yeah, oh man, it's not enough. I sex really in like this movie. It... <laughs> Fuck! Don't even joke about that. I I, I am terrified. <laughs> Someone's just gonna find the models, rip them out of the movie, and just terrible rule thirty four. I, I <laughs> yes. don't. I would not be surprised. It's gonna how... be like the kill a kill video game. There's going to be like a low period where people are like, "This is actually a really good video game." And then it's just going to be porn. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great, Josh. Let me just tell you how great it porn. is. Take Overwatch and People times to it by understand a thousand. how the porn is actually a metaphor for the politics that it's currently happening. Fucking <laughs> goddamn it. Don't joke about that. Don't joke about that. <laughs> oh, Frick, I love how I posted something on Twitter <laughs> And the guy immediately calls me a retard. So I'm like, oh, that's good. Just immediately. Oh, frick. I think it was, what's it about? Oh, it was a discussion about uh, loot drop. T- anti-loot box bill. 
Oh, and yeah. I just yeah. Oh, and man. I I made a comment saying, you know, the only danger about this bill is that it could overreach immensely to the point of like you can't have an RPG, like you can't. Yeah. Like it could. Yeah. That'd be stupid, but it could. And this guy's like, this is the what fucking is stupidest shit I've ever heard. You fucking retard. You should ban bite. You should ban dice too, since those things are luck based. You're a retard. And I'm like. I'll favor your comment and I'll combat I'll comment back they should. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, you must be a 14 year old on Twitter. Like Jesus. I mean, everyone on Twitter is a piece of yeah. shit. I yeah. Mean, if we want to be honest though, like the loot box bill I think is a really good idea and concept. I, I get I why it's coming in. Because it's predatory. If well a lot a lot of the a lot of the uh um chance loot boxes stuff like that that have been coming out are also monetary statements too mm -hmm. right so like uh, like a good example is blizzard's own loot box um which you can't purchase in game with like in game currency stuff like that like the other good uh, good example for like a good loot box system is uh i would say um, is Blizzard's other game, uh, Heroes Starcraft. of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm, yeah. Like, there are good games with loot boxes in them. But, like, I'm um, going to say this right now. But the problem is, is, like, where games have loot boxes that you can't buy with in-game currency. Yeah, well, no. Like, no, you're 100% right. The problem is, is that, like, why should I have to spend money in order to get actual fun things? And this yeah. is the problem with Battlefront 2, was, like, it became so integral to the experience that it was not fun. The problem with um, Overwatch is that, like, in order to get any of the good stuff, like, if I could just give the, if I could give Blizzard money for microtransactions, I would take a thousand worse microtransactions, where I have to buy the actual fucking perk itself for the game, or the costume. Yeah. Well, Over the thing, even, even though even though Overwatch is like it's only costumes and like transfers and stuff like that, um, for the most part, it is um, like I, I'm I'm graping on Blizzard's fucking Overwatch fucking loot box because it is fucking retarded. Yeah, but um, but the reason why I don't like it is because it's it's not really accessible unless you do so, like do a bunch of things like to earn them or unlock them and it's just for skins and like that's cool but I would rather have an in-game currency that I get for playing the games that I can like even if you make the loot boxes where like you still earn them through like doing a number of getting a number of wins st or playing a number of games and stuff like that and or have daily challenges and the like um, but what you need to do is make them available through more than just you want to buy a bunch of them. Here's here. You have to, you have to spend like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the loot box yeah. stuff is not great. I, loot boxes. I know. I, 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 I got to like the end of my rope with a lot of loot box stuff. Cause it's like, I like to have these skins. They're pretty fucking neat, but oh my god, every time I drop that forty dollars to get all the chests, it's like I just want to get one skin. That's all I want, but I have to get tons of this garbage. Like tons. Oh Oh no, you're just preaching to the choir right now because it's like that's the issue with everyone right now, is everyone's just like I'm fucking done. Yeah. Like I'm just yeah. done. Like enough's enough. Exactly. It's just <laughs> only way to fix it is to freaking i guess legislate the fuck out of them like god it's not it's not the way we should do it but oh well mm -hmm. uh i will say this though uh i saw john wick th today and then i also went to the board game cafe oh week. that's good and where yeah. where's the board game cafe uh board game cafe is downtown edmonton Ew. yeah uh I also, <laughs> I also played a little bit more Rage 2, and that game's fun when you get to the levels that are actually levels. That game is so much fun. 
It is. I just got the shotgun, and the shotgun is like basically like a fucking cannon. Like it just one shots people, so it's more powerful than most of the guns in the game. But like basically, like you walk up to somebody. Oh, oh Jeff, Jeff, oh. you you hit your mic. You, I pulled out my cable. But you walk up to somebody and you just go boom, and their face goes explode. Mm. And their, their guts go everywhere. And then you're like, oh my god, this is the greatest shotgun ever in any video game ever made. It's, it's better than, like, five girls giving you hand jobs. I'm not sure if you want five girls. I want one girl. At least she can do a good job. Two girls. Two girls is like the golden I, number. More is, not o more is not always better. <laughs> well, you need one in order to milk the ball, con control the balls, and then you need the other one to milk the shafts, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, would... you need their hands to do something, Alan. Not do you though? Not... <laughs> yes. Not. Let me not tell wrong. you, man. Let me tell you, man. The only way it can get worse is if some girl is like chewing, eating out your ass. I... Oh boy. I think Shane is like going. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Just... Do I need to actually, like, look? Oh, my God. <laughs> when you're when you're taking LST at the family reunion and your mom calls you a failure, I have done that. <laughs> I've done that exact thing. Excuse me. I think the word you're looking for is Space Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did that exact thing. That was a really fun oh, time. Oh, God. I actually don't. I don't do drugs because I'm fucking smart. Except for weed. Yeah, but you know what? Like, when you're stressed out of your fucking mind and you want to kill half of the planet, weed <laughs> makes it life bearable because people are fucking dipshits. And yes, I smoke weed. I smoked weed, be or I took THC pills in order to go to sleep because... Like, I was having problems sleeping because I was so fucking stressed out to the point of where my therapist actually sat there and said, man, you should drop out of some of these classes. That was great. That was great. <laughs> I haven't smoked weed in like a week or like close to a month, actually. Yeah, I haven't smoked weed in close to a month. It's actually, I actually feel great. How are you guys feeling? Okay. Doing stuff, you know. <laughs> so, back to Rage. I, I'm i going to say this again. I think the problem is the open world. It's a bit too open. Yeah. I think all the abilities make it, the combat some of the most shining parts. And that goes without saying. But the problem is, again, that because it's so open, then it becomes a detriment to the game itself. Um, I will also say this, is that I need to play through PewDiePie Redemption, which is another game I kind of want to pick up and play. And I need to play through uh, more of Dusk. But yeah. this game is so fun that it feels really good. I'm actually, I'm... like... Well, uh, actually, something else I've noticed with um, Rage from, like, the few things that I've seen played and, like, enjoyed um, is that it seems just like they took the basic rage, rage, rage engine from last time. Yeah. And just kind of updated a bit. Mm -hmm. And like got it, it got it up to the point where it's like stable and solid and stuff like that, but not perfect. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's a little weird. It's, it's just, Hmm. Ugh. Ow. What else? Uh. Anything happened? Anything interesting happened for you this week, Josh? Um. Not. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> if I was gonna say anything interesting, I would say I went to Magic the Gathering of uh that draft I went to that fucking skipped out on the 
podcast before. Podcast before. Yeah, uh, I did. It was a special. It was special as in uh, the when pe- everyone was drafting cards. Uh, the planeswalkers that since this War of the Spark, fuck ton of planeswalkers every pack. Yada yada. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The planeswalkers were colorless. So you could be like, oh, I'm playing red black, but oh, there's this white green planeswalker I could just shove in because they're colorless. And that was the special rule for the entire night. And that was actually specially uh, that was an event that Wizards put out. So it was like, oh, so it's an official events that you kind of want <laughs> you, you want planeswalkers in your deck. So you can just put them out and do dumb bullshit with it's like, oh, that's cool. And I did. I tried to make a deck around that and I got about. What was it like seventh seventh place? Because I kept forgetting to get my stupid uh, removal cards <laughs> every fucking time. Just you're know, like, oh, I yeah. need to get these important removal cards. Oh, but this command, <laughs> but this fucking please walker though. Just every time. But that was an interesting event because I saw some like, oh, you played a black deck, but you still have, yep. still have this, this a giant planeswalker you can just dump out. So that's cool. And it was like a neat event that I like. Uh, the only thing that sucked is like when I was picking all the cards for my special draft deck, I still got cards that were in the same color of my deck. So it was like, well... That just happened to work out that way. I didn't necessarily try to pick that out, but oh well. That is fair. <laughs> yeah. No, I I actually don't know how I feel about the this new set because it's like, crazy. Mm-hmm. And also the the more and also this the spoilers coming out for the new Modern Horizons is also pretty goddamn stupid. Like, uh, do you want to link me? I want to actually take a look at this real quick. Do you want to link me real quick? Yeah, the half of them got spoiled already. Um, and so far, the mythics for this set are just pure stupid. Like, they made a new sword. Like, uh, it's called Wait. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Oh, fuck. That, that got released today. Shit. I was like, oh, that's the old sword I saw. No, wait. The old one I saw is Sword of Truth and, and Justice. Uh, they're, again, like just any sword card, they're stupid as shit. They give the creature protection hmm. from uh, the, uh, the what was it? Sinew and steel is black and red. Uh, equip creature deals combat damage to player destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. Oh, frick. And then truth and justice uh, has protection from white and blue. And whatever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature you control, then proliferate. And uh, I like how I asked for a link and I never got it. <laughs> Hold on. I, I want to look at these really quickly and just like see what we think. And... Put it. Oh, dear God. Did I leave and come back to magic? Yep. yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, no. Oh, no. Wait, sword of sinew and st- what the fuck? The new that's not that. Okay, correction from has protection from black and has and from red. Yep. Okay, so it's uh, an anti th- uh, any a- anti rakdos car set. Yep. Okay, uh, when equipped creature deals combat damage to a play uh whenever whenever equipped creature destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. Okay, no that's that's actually pretty nice. Uh, oh, look, the Sword of Truth and Justice, which is protection from white and blue. So anti-Azorius. Okay. Um, whenever this, whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a plus. That's actually pretty good, as you just said. Then proliferate. Yep. Do we have any other? Do we have any of the other swords yet, or just, just that? Just those two. And uh, so far, those looks like they're brand new cards. Yeah, they're brand new. But these are just straight going into modern. Like skipping standard, going straight to modern, and there's a lot. Uh, this whole set is the just skipping standard, going straight to modern stuff. And uh, yeah, <laughs> one of the uh, cards I just fa- uh, saw yesterday, uh, Unbound Flourishing. It's a three uh, three drop uh, enchantment, and it's uh, whenever you cast a permanent with an X cost, you double the X value, and whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell uh, or activate ability. If that spells uh, mana cost or ability to activation 
activation cost contains X. Copy that spell and or ability. You may choose new targets for that copy. So, so there's a lot of wow. I, okay, so all right. So I, I just need to really quickly point this out, and I've already am fucking loving this Co goblin engineer, uh, ranger captive Essos. Um, Zephar, uh, Zephyrin decoy. Fuck it. Like I've already got some white cards in this set, white and red cards in the set that I really want. Oh yeah. Like so far people are valuing, uh, valuing the EV just by, I think it's just the mythics, uh, by themselves. It's like, yeah, you can get a <gasps> dude. Oh no. <laughs> I just saw a card. I really want in my deck. <laughs> oh no. This whole, this whole thing is like, Oh, they brought that back. Oh, they brought that back. Oh, they made this brand new. They bring back oh, there's Lotus? a new mox. There's a fun brand they new mox. Print. They will, ne they will never reprint that. Oh, Sunbaked Canyon. That's actually a pretty nice card. It looks they really nice. will reprint it. Print what? Uh, Black Lotus. They will never reprint that's, that card. It will. It might get a card that's like it, but not the same. Yeah, it will. It, like it won't ever actually be reprinted. They'll they'll probably re, like recast it essentially. Yeah. So put a new skin on it and oh. does something different, but it's it could be the same card, but it's not. Yeah. Oh, Wall of a th One Thousand Cuts. Uh, one white. Uh, Wall of Wall of a Thousand Cuts can attack this turn as though it did not have Defender. That's and, cool. and also, the set has Snowlands because those things were getting pretty expensive. They're like, sure, let's print Snowlands, and they're full art Snowlands, no less. And also, gotta... and also, they <clears throat> they're bringing in the. You know the cornucopia that was retarded expensive that was like a almost a hundred dollar card at one point. Yep. Uh, they're making a whole enemy set just in cornucopia land. So there's there's a uh, blue red and there's blue, green uh, black green green blue uh, white black and red red white and they all do that same draw card thing. So that's that's also pretty good. Just there's all, immediately a lot of positive coming out of this, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck, I I wonder, like, I forget how much each pack is gonna be, because if I remember correctly, there's no MSRP anymore on these on the shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm I, I'm just I'm just hoping it's uh, like thirteen, fourteen dollars a pack, because I don't want to pay more than that. I suspect it'll be about fifteen bucks. Because that's usually what they end up being yeah. initially at the start. I already see like a bunch of cards that I really want. Like, fuck, I just read Aria, Aria of Flame, and fuck, is that a good card? There's, um, but freaking, I I just like how there's a shapeshifter legendary creature that it has changeling, and also you can get to ca cast things for free if they only have a mana symbol in their cost. Can I? Can we talk about something else after? Magic. Yeah, sure. Are we almost? Okay. Are we almost done? Magic. <laughs> are we fine, almost, we're done. Fine. Fine. Basically, yeah. Ba basically, yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much. Yeah, done. We're just jizzing over cards. I, I'm just. I'm actually just looking at the cards now and just being like, these are actually pretty cool still. But we can go. <sighs> okay. Well, I just want to talk about uh, God Galaxy 2.0, which is everything I ever wanted in a game launcher. <sighs> Because it's all my games in one place. And it's not like Epic Game Launcher where they fucking have exclusives and they sit there and they ask actual questions for once in their fucking life. Like, what do consumers want? Mm. I'm actually really happy about this. Which, uh, what was the launcher you're talking about? Gong? Oh, the, the Galaxy 2.0? Yes. Ah, yeah, I saw that too. I wonder if I got an email yes. by the, from them yet. So... I'm going to wait until it officially launches, but they sat there and they were like, yeah, like you can literally download all of the games. So like what this means for us as consumers is that like Steam is no longer a de facto install, but it does mean that Steam is still a de facto install because I love Steam so much. De fact, uh, Steam should be a de facto install regardless. Like even though like you'll the the even though it's de facto like I, I don't 100% agree with the 30% fucking cut rate out of the fucking costs of whatever, like, people make. But, um, 
I am a little bit more like lenient with it because they do such a good job with their service. However, I would prefer them to see it cut it down to like be a little bit more competitive with like other boards. And you know, you know yeah. why they can't do that though? Why? Because as soon as they do that, um, like they eat a lot of the costs on a lot of the bandwidth. They eat a lot of the costs on like transaction conversion. They do a lot of the bare minimum things. So 30% is all they can do um, without taking a cut unless your game is selling a million dollars. That is fair, I guess, yeah. And, like, the problem isn't, like... The problem isn't that, like, it's a problem for Steam. The problem is, is that, like... Epic Games is literally sitting there and twisting the knife and then going, well, like, we can do it, so why can't Steam? And it's like, no, you can't, because you have literally one of the most popular games that still makes millions of dollars every day. Yep. Uh, the other thing is, is that, um, the other problem is, is that, like, because Steam is so responsible and stuff like that. Like, here's the thing. It's like, I would rather have GOG installed on my computer than Origin. I'd rather have GOG installed on my computer than Uplay. I'd rather have GOG installed on my computer than over Bethesda Launcher. The fact that this is another launcher that's saying, hey, I can take all of your other launchers and put them in one place, that's great. That's everything I wanted in the launcher. And, like, the one thing is, is that, like, like I'm still going to have Steam auto start up on start. Like, that's just always going to be the case for me. Because, like, I like Steam a lot. Steam is just great. But, like, I don't know. Maybe one day I won't have Steam automatically starting up because this will replace it. It depends on how good the launcher is, though. Yeah. It's, like, actually considering how, like, the, the modern launchers are, it should be pretty good. Yeah. And, like, also, um... <laughs> also like considering that GOG is like still like one of the only other places I actually feel fine with actually installing so. yeah I actually really like uh, GOG for the most part it's got like a few problems with it for the most part nothing super like oh my god it's like the worst thing ever it's more just <laughs> weird yeah. it's kind of in like one of these weird setups Josh, what do you think? I'm sorry. Uh, 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 and that's it. You don't really care? Not, not much. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, oh, it's, yeah. Steam cells back on again. Right. Yeah, no, it, it just started, and I hate myself because there is actually like a pack of games I'm gonna probably buy here right now. <laughs> no, actually. it's a spring cleaning event, guys. It's on until the 28th. By the way, I have to play some games tomorrow. Well, you don't have to play it. Just download and install and play for 10 seconds and then turn off. Well, I have to clear my backlog. Like that, that's it. You just find the, like the games that are pixel art. You download those quickly. You play it for 10 whole seconds and then you just turn it off and you get the you get the thing the, the achievement to keep going forward cuz i'm evil that's a good point <laughs> but i still need to play it so i am going to do that and yeah i'm just i'm just like to the point where it's like Right now, I'm just playing through Rage. Right now, I need to finish Witcher. Right now, I need to play through more of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I need to play through God of War. I give up. I just play League of Legends. Oh, and I also need to play more Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I have no life. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, actually, it's actually great. That is fair. No, uh, I just, I'm actually gonna like pick up a, like uh, a a game that I've really kind of wanted for a while, which is Endless Space Two, 
and and, and and endless space one because endless space one is available and and it's like expansion are available for a dollar and i'm like bye <laughs> it's basically like a giant 4x game and it's like sci-fi and stuff like that it's actually really fun from what i've seen people play uh i'm gonna probably buy the base version i guess But yeah, no, I've actually generally enjoyed a like a lot of information from like like this past week has been like fucking brutal on me. Josh, do you want to know what my week's been? Uh, how? Because I actually because you weren't here when I made this little rant about what happened because of how what happened last night and how my week went. So started working on Tuesday after our long weekend. Thought got told me we we're gonna be having Saturday off. <laughs> Worked Friday, got rained on, got shut down. Well, we're working Saturday now. And then as we find out we're working Saturday, we find out we're working tomorrow as well. <laughs> and uh, considering the number the number of cubic meters we have to pour tomorrow, um, it's probably going to be a brutally long day. And then I have to go back to work on Monday and do another six days. A. Hey. Hey. Jesus. Hey. Hey, yeah, brother. Let me tell you about this, brother. 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 Avenger. Avenger, brother. <laughs> Avenger. <laughs> uh, no mercy. No mercy. I, did you guys see the did you guys see the new Flash Kids cartoon? Oh yes. I, oh fuck. I love how they shit all over Game of Thrones. Uh it was so not good. That one, it's Aladdin. Oh yeah. Wait, he they posted another they one. Posted another one. Yeah. What if we ruin Game of Thrones? <laughs> Finally, I took his dick out of my mouth, and I thought, what if we ruin Game of Thrones? Perfect, because Game of Thrones ended, and everyone was sad. Everyone was sad. I I don't imagine why, but why would you make a character who is paraplegic the king of? Everyone who has literally no. Oh motion. no, no. Um, what makes it even funnier is um, the way that it got described. Like, I because I watched somebody like review the, the episode. Um, a lot of things don't make a lot of sense. The fact, like a good example, John going to getting re like exiles back to the north, like to take the black and stuff like that. Um, he's king of the north. Like the moment he steps into the Northlands, he becomes king again. He literally doesn't have to do anything. On top of that, Brand is also a Stark. Why wouldn't he fucking pardon him? Um, technically also, John is the only heir to the throne left. Like, yeah. 100%. He is the only heir left. Why isn't John made king? Why isn't he made the reluctant ma uh, the reluctant king? Um, why does the Dothraki and Unsullied just leave? Because why not? Like, legit, you could just kept John in chains for, like, until they left and then released him. Um... Why did Drogo just leave? What the <laughs> like, why did he like? I would have like. I'll actually, I actually have to agree with like, quite a few people. Um, he should have breathed fire on on John to prove that he was actually a Targaryen. Um, but like it. Oh man, like the fact that now we don't have, now we don't have that opportunity. Now we have to wait on. Um, wait, are the Targaryens like a moon to fire or something like that? Um, uh, most are. Oh. It's weird. It's it's a lot. Of, it's actually pretty convoluted. Um, but like they missed so many golden opportunities with like how to end the series and stuff like that. It's just I, I the thing is I've seen the peti petition that's been going around for um we want to get better writers for the fucking season finale. By the way, these two guys are writing the next uh, the next three Star Wars movies. <laughs> they, think about that. They they might be the ones who kill Star Wars. Just remember that. No, Star um, Wars died. But uh, I, I actually, die. yeah, I won't actually sign the petition for them to rewrite. It. Like, because I'm like, nope, the books, are, uh, the movie, the show isn't canon to me anymore. Uh, the first four, maybe the first five seasons of the series are canon, like, except with acceptable parameters for me. But um, I do know that I would love to have George R. R. Martin finish his fucking books. 
Like I yeah. legit would sign a petition right now if they if somebody like made a petition online and says get George R. R. Martin to finish the fucking books, the last two books in the series because he's got two more books to write and he's not long for this world. I hate to break it to you, but he's like eighty something years old, and I'm like, God damn it, George, get the books done, just put them out. They'll be way better. Like they're way better than like ah. Uh... Oh God. George, buddy. <sighs> but that's beside the point. Um, no, I didn't even know if Flash gets to put on a new new video. I mean, it talks about um, Aladdin, John. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. It's hot. It's hot, boys. It's hot. That that's that. I that's actually a pretty funny little joke. Yeah. Uh. What else did I do this week? Oh, I went to a board. Oh, uh, board game cafe. It's pretty good. More people need to play it. How was it? It's fine. We played board games. Board games are fun. There's a cool card game where you have to put cards in sleeves in order to modify the cards. So it was really fun and awesome. But it was only limited and temporary. And then another person wanted to play, um, what was it called? Nerbs? Or Nerds? I don't know what it is, but it was okay. It's a good. It's a good thing. I actually enjoyed it. I found the service really nice. Everyone there is pretty pleasant. Um, and the one thing I would have liked is is that uh, when like I would have liked it more if I could have drank, of course, because me and beer is like oh yes. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. And they had, uh, yes, alcohol makes any situation better. So it's really my fault that I wasn't allowed to drink alcohol. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That is fair. Mm. No, um... I have to see John Wick. Hopefully this week coming up. You want me to hear, tell you John Wick's really good is, thing about John is, Wick? Is it really, really good? It's really good. The violence is really there, and it didn't feel like two hours. Really? It was basically the pacing was perfect. Everything about it was perfect, and it begins like an like midway, like after an hour. Really? So it actually has like setup and pay and payoff too. So that's good. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about it is is that they do this great thing where Winston is set up to be like this hopeless like hero. And the entire movie, you're rooting for him, and then he does something, and it's like, why? Why did you do this, Winston? Like, <laughs> there's a really good scene where Winston is locked in a vault, John enters, and then his butler enters, and they're like, we need shotguns. And Winston's just sitting there, like, oh, okay, well, like, you know, and he's just sitting there enjoying a drink, and it's like, God damn it, Winston. God damn it. But everything about the movie, like considering I haven't seen like John Wick part two uh, is really good. I actually have to see part two because I've seen part one for the most part. I think I'm missing like maybe 10 minutes of it. But um, I do know that. Um, I did actually really enjoy. A lot of like the really like. I loved how it came out, how it played out, and how it worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for the most part, the only thing I want to see right now is technically... Um, oh, fuck. What's it called? Jesus Christ. Fuck. There's a movie that's coming out this week. Oh, now I remember. Aladdin came out this week as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and as I said, I don't want to see it because of how much of a train wreck it will be. I might just, I might do a dumb thing and pay for another movie ticket and then go see the movie, a movie Aladdin, and just skip out and do it that way. Yeah, but it'll depend. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like this week has been pretty good. I think that's a podcast, I, though, because I think we're going to be... Uh, we're all getting pretty... Yeah, I had a yeah. full day here. 
I want to go to bed. I woke up at 11 to a phone call telling me my boss, one of my bosses. So we got a new manager at work telling me that he went to the hospital with high heart rate and like went and had normal blood pressure, but was told by the uh, pharmacist that they should go to the hospital. I'm like, oh, oh, great. But, like, that's how I woke up, like, last week, too. Like, I woke up to a phone call on Friday of my bank calling me, telling me that I can come in and sign something in order to be put into more debt. Hooray! So. Hmm. Hooray. Well, hope he's better. Uh, yeah, hopefully he's fine. But, hey, it never fails. And next week, I can play video games again. Hopefully. He says... Okay. Anyways, thank you for listening to the Black Mind Podcast. This show was very, very bad and great and kind penis. of ra- kind of rambly, kind of rambly. Well, you know, I mean, that's always what we do. Those are the those are the best shows, in my opinion, because they're the most fun to edit. But uh, penis, uh, you can listen to us every penis or Thursday. BlackBondGames.popbean.com or your podcasting app of choice. You can also review us on those podcasting app of choice or YouTube and leave a comment and maybe eventually we'll start making fun of you because we're dicks like that and terrible people. Uh, and yeah, thank you for listening. Have a good night. Thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful episode. Yeah, have a good night. <laughs> good night. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>